Alright guys, here's going to be a quick uh, video review on the laser I received uh, for the sole purpose of doing a review um, from laserpoint.com Okay, I will have a link in the description uh, to this package deal including uh, a link in the description for a full detail review that I did over on LPF uh, basically uh, go check that out uh, to get a more overall uh, view of the laser uh, this is just going to be a demonstration to see uh, what you get and uh, what to expect but for a more detailed review check out the links below okay so uh, what you get in this package deal um, it sells as a one watt laser okay you get two 16340s a standard 16340 charger a user manual a standard pair of laser safety goggles uh, five caps four of which have uh, patterns the fifth one is just blank and allows the beam to pass uh, right through and you get this really nice uh, cool case which I really really like okay so let's put that aside and uh, take a look at the laser uh, basically, as you guys can see, it looks like uh, the traditional uh, mini Arctic version. However, uh, this appears to be the upgraded version. Well, it is the upgraded version. The original mini Arctic was much smaller um, and also much lighter than this. And in my opinion, much cheaper. This way is nearly three times the amount of the original version did. And it's also about a couple of inches uh, longer as well. Uh, overall, the threads are also much better than the original version. Uh, it also is case positive, so make sure you don't put the cells in wrong. So positive of the battery goes to the tail cap. The anodizing is very sharp. It's uh, I see no damage whatsoever upon receiving the laser. Uh, it has a glossy anodized finish, not that flat uh, matte black that you normally see on cheaper versions. Okay, uh, like I said, this laser sells as a one watt laser. So let's do a quick uh, power test. As you can see, we're over spec at uh, 1.3 watts, right above that, and it's pretty rock solid. The diode is sitting in a brass uh, heatsink module. It's not an actual like 12 millimeter module. It's a larger uh, brass heatsink that sits within the head, press fit, and then the diode is press fit into that. Uh, the driver is a linear driver. It's set at 1.27 amps, uh, which is uh, pretty good for the power that you're getting out. Also, uh, a nice upgrade, which I really like on this version, is the, the front lens portion unscrews. And as you can see, this is a focusable laser, so you can actually focus and burn things or uh, whatever you do. Uh, when you have a focusable laser. So it is focusable uh, by turning this bottom portion right here and this top portion is just the lens caps. Okay. So what I do like about this version the upgraded version compared to the original. The original version or the old model would stop right here and not allow you to continue unscrewing uh, this front piece off and you had to actually try to take the lens out from the inside remove the diode it was a pain in the butt so if you wanted to upgrade the lens it was a real hassle now it's very simple to upgrade the lens on this version simply unscrews it and uh, with a pair of tweezers or pliers you can unscrew this lens here and switch it over to a higher power lens if you desire to do so Okay, you can upgrade to a G lens and get up to 
uh, I believe it's 30 to 35 percent more uh, power uh, out of your laser. Uh, I tested it in in the test review below. Like I said, check out the link. Uh, there's a bunch of info there. Uh, like I said, this is just a quick uh, overlook of the laser. Okay, so you can just quickly sw swap out the lenses if you want more power, and you'll you can expect roughly around 1.7 watts of power compared to the over spec already at 1.3 watts. Keeping in mind this laser is sold as a one watt laser package deal. Okay. <clears throat> the overall inside construction is very good. It's not messy like your typical uh, overseas laser. Uh, I'm pretty surprised with that. Everything is nice and clean, glued together with thermal uh, adhesive. It's clean also. It's not just slapped together as far as, you know, all the glue everywhere. Um, as you can see, the, the, the brass heat sink deep inside there, then the diode, I mean the driver, sitting right behind that. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this laser. If I was actually looking for not a custom laser, because we cannot compare these to custom lasers, um, if I was looking for a one watt laser, this would be an option uh, for me to go for. I actually really like these hosts. Uh, moreover, um, the Mini Arctics, definitely more over the Mini Arctics. So uh, check out the links below. Uh, the product link will be below as well, including the uh, review link. All right. Thanks, guys.